I'm Peter Stoll, professional clarinetist and teacher at the University of Toronto's Faculty of Music. Congratulations on making a great choice of music school at the Vaughan Academy of Music. It's so important that when you're studying an instrument or beginning to learn music that you have the help of really excellent qualified teachers. Because studying music is not only a matter of concepts of the mind, but also of the body such as physical coordination. So I think you're going to have a really, really good time working with their great and very, very friendly and supportive teachers. One important thing to consider as you begin your musical studies or continue them is, of course, the importance of practice. Now, we tend to think about how long did someone practice, uh, but there's another side to that, which is how often did they practice throughout the week. So almost every music teacher I've ever talked to has come around eventually in our conversations to the same point that it's much better to do say a half an hour, four or five days out of the week than trying to cram all of it into one hour once a week. Because you're really building up muscle memory and these physical skills and you need that kind of regularity of training in order to remember the little gains that you've made from week to week with the help of your teacher. Another thing to consider is that you, in studying at a high quality music school like Vaughan Academy, have some really, really great opportunities to give yourself goal posts and uh, objectives to work towards, whether it be internal events like studio recitals or music school concerts, or outside things like Kiwanis Music Festivals. There's the Kiwanis Music Festival of Toronto, the North York Music Festival, Peel Region Music Festival, and others. These are really, really great learning opportunities, and they're really fun things to do. But also consider uh, that you could be taking an exam with the Royal Conservatory. You could sign up for a beginning or elementary level examination, and the great thing about these is that they really cover a very comprehensive range of aspects of music learning and development. So you play a couple of short pieces, you play a few short studies, you play a few scales that you've had to learn, uh, there's some few ear tests, and then a little bit of sight reading before you finish. So again, I think that it's a very, very good help in structuring and organizing your studies and working towards that. I hope these thoughts have been useful for you. And again, congratulations, you've really chosen a great high quality music program. All the best.